Well, we just stopped. We're in a traffic jam. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. So, basically, Miraj is trying to go to the airport in Ahmedabad. I'm also going to Ahmedabad to explore. So he has places to go, but we just got caught in a traffic jam. He has to be at the airport at, like, what, 2 o'clock? Yeah, 2 o'clock, and right now it's 10.30, and we still have a long way to go. We just got started, so, yeah. I can see the traffic is moving just a little bit. Do you see the orange truck at the very front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yes, yes, barely yes. moving. So things are moving, but it's it's just incredibly slow. Oh, terrible. Five minutes for one for one meter, you know? Yeah, five minutes for one meter. Yeah, it's moving. Crazy. So traffic eventually picked up and we made it to Ahmedabad. The locals call it Ahmedabad. If you read it the English way, it's Ahmedabad. So there's something about the Indian culture that I just don't fully understand. Hospitality. So far in this country, it has been such a hospitable place. Everyone is so kind and welcoming and open to bringing you to their family and staying in their house. I'm currently in an apartment in Ahmedabad. Niraj has a friend in Ahmedabad who he is actually going to travel with to Russia today. He's on a plane, he should be there by now. But before he left, he tried to coordinate a friend so I could sleep in a house or in an apartment without having to go to a hotel or a dorm room, which this was not my idea, this was his. He's very kind and he tried to go out of his way to help me. Turns out his friend owns a couple apartments within his apartment complex. He rents it out to other people. Today was the last day of one of the tenants who moved out. So he says, hey, come inside. There's still electricity and water and everything. You can stay here for a few days. So here I am. This is, uh, <laughs> I want to show you the tour. This is my bed. They cleaned everything and they provided a small mattress and a pillow and a blanket, which is awesome. The lights, this is the only light that works. And then in the, the bathroom, everything else is dead. So I'm going to use my light to kind of guide you. So this is the rest of the house. Interesting, there's no lights. I don't know if the previous people took the light fixtures and the bulbs and that's why there isn't any. I'm really not sure. I guess I haven't been in here yet. Oh, there's another room with a window open. I'm hoping that stops birds. I'm guessing that stops birds. Cabinets. This is the Asian style toilet, shower. And that's, uh, that's it. So it's like a two bedroom, one living room, no kitchen. Oh, there's a kitchen. Ha! I didn't even go in here yet. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Hopefully I didn't hit you in the head. Yeah. Kitchen. And then, oh, another door. I don't know where that goes. I think that goes into the same... Oh my god, there's a balcony. I didn't want to go into someone's house. Oh, I just stepped in a big puddle of water. Awesome. And a balcony. So I can't really show you out there very well. But anyway, so yeah. This is my new living quarters for a couple of days. And I just, again, can't wrap my mind around this hospitality thing in India. Everyone has been so kind and welcoming and courteous. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful for everyone so far. It's been a really cool journey through India. After I arrived, the owner, I'm not sure the relationship yet. I don't know if it's wife and children or nephews, I think they said, but I'm not sure, that live with him and the man it's complicated. Anyway, I met uh, a couple younger younger kids today. They were fun to talk with. They spoke great English and they love watching YouTube, so they're excited kind of to see that I have a YouTube channel. So anyway, tomorrow they kind of wanted to show me around. So potentially I'm going to go out and explore with them and see a little bit more about what this town has to offer. 